Good morning and welcome to Wickersley Angling Centre. Um, today's video is going to be a little bit different. It is uh, product reviews, as, as I do um, in, in my shots, but it's questions I get asked often in the shop, what I actually use myself and why I use them. Um, today I'm going to talk about a couple of different products, but the um, way I set up, it doesn't matter to me what the name of the product is, i.e. I'm not a tackle tart. Um, I use things that are practical in fishing, so it doesn't matter to me whether that's Preston, that's Guru, that's no fish, that's map. That is immaterial to catching your fish. You, you actually catch your fish with your fishing ability and the products that make it easier for me. I don't have to have all of just all of the same company. I like to mix and match my tackle and have the best of what I think is out there on the market at the time. So my first product I want to talk to you about is it's a product that um, is probably, it's definitely in my top three buys of all time. Now, it's a product I've had since September 2016 when the very first came out. And mine is the original side tray. It's the new fish hooded side tray. Now, this is the original one and I'm still using it and it's absolutely perfect. I go fishing two, three times a week, so most weeks of the year. And as I say, it gets a lot of ammo does this box and it's still as good basically as the day I bought it. Um, you've got your two locking points on your legs, which them two locking points slide. So no matter what size box you've got, it will fit your box. And it comes with a multitude of uh, inserts to fit square legs, round legs, uh, 36 mil, 30 mil, 25 mil. It comes with an adapter on the side, on the back, which you can put an extra leg on if you want to suspend it. But they are very strong. And with most situations in English fishing, you don't need to have a support leg in. So all I do on that is I've just got a short piece of uh, bank stick, which I've cut down. I put my um, Guru butt, butt gripper in there. And I put my landing net in there, so my landing net is always at the side of me, so it's easy to grab, and it just sits in there perfectly. So the, the side tray, um, so mine is one of the original ones, so I, I haven't got any of the pockets on the inside or anything, but if you get one of the new ones now, here's one we prepared earlier, you've still got the same features as your two locking points for your legs, and one on the back to put an extender leg in. The only time I do use it as an extender leg is if I'm out on a natural venue and I'm wading out into the water and using my platform, I'll put an extending leg into it just, just to help stabilize the whole box, not just the side tray. Sometimes when you're getting on and off your box in, in, when you're fishing in big natural waters and there's a bit of a blow on, sometimes your box can get moved with the waves. So that is when I use that one and I will put an extending leg into it then. But with the new ones, as I say with mine, it's got no pockets in. It's still the original one, so it's five, six years old now. But with the new ones, you get the measuring sticks on the front to, to measure your hook lengths and different things. And you've got all the pockets on the inside of the lid to put your, your spools in or your EVA spools or your hook length box, your disgorger your phone and different things like that. This is an absolute must if you're a feeder angler. 